just walked in the door from boot camp. So welcome to today's what I eat in a day. I did have my protein coffee actually before I went to boot camp. I drank it all. I was up pretty early today. It's an exciting day. We actually start design on our new house today. So I had a hard time sleeping. I mean, I slept good, but then once I woke up early this morning, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was up early enough to drink all of my protein coffee. And now that I'm home, I'm going to have my clean, simple eats, clear protein. These are back in stock. You guys, I don't know how long they'll be back in stock, but they are back in stock. Not the variety pack, but the individual cases. This is the dragon fruit. This one and the prickly pear are my favorite. Then the tropical orange and then last the blue raz. So I'm going to have one of these while I get ready for the day before I have breakfast this morning, 90 calories, 20 grams of protein literally tastes like vitamin water. So this will be my second protein supplement of the day. Oh, my hair leaves a lot to be desired. So let me clean up, get ready for the day and then we'll have some breakfast. All right, it's breakfast time. I'm hungry. Actually, Troy will be up here in about 15 minutes. We have to head out the door in about an hour to our design appointment. I'm so excited, you guys. It's day one. I'm a little stressed about it, though, to be honest. It's a lot to decide. I'm really hoping that the design consultant, she seems amazing, is going to help make it less stressful, help us navigate through everything, but I really need a good breakfast before we head out. I'm gonna pack some snacks with me. I'll show you what I'm bringing, and then I believe we do get a lunch break, so we'll probably end up going out for lunch, but I just want to be fully prepared because this is an all day thing from 9 30 to 4 PM. So for breakfast, we're going to have a protein packed solid breakfast. So I have these simply hash browns in my fridge. I need to use these up. I'm going to cook up the entire pack. That way I can just warm them up throughout the week for breakfast. And then I do some low fat cottage cheese. I'm basically making my protein bowl, one egg. And then for meat, I'm doing turkey bacon since I took this out of the freezer for my meal prep. And I'll show you how I put this together, but this is my protein breakfast bowl. It keeps me nice and full. It's delicious and it is packed with protein. So I'm cooking up the hash browns. I have a one slice of turkey bacon. I'm just going to throw it in the microwave, one egg, and then I'm going to do a third of a cup of cottage cheese. All right, so here is my breakfast. So I have one egg runny yolk because I like to mix the yolk in with my hash browns. So I have one serving of hash browns, one slice of turkey bacon, and a third of a cup of cottage cheese. I'm telling you, this is so filling, satisfying, great after my morning workout. This will definitely keep me full. After I have breakfast, we'll mix up my creatine for the day and we'll pack some snacks. So here's a little life-changing hack that I just discovered eating breakfast. Turkey bacon with cottage cheese, Literally so good. Let's mix up my creatine really quick. So I'm using the One Up Pure Rebuild. I have the flavor acai pomegranate lychee. It's almost gone. It is absolutely delicious. I love One Up's creatine because it's flavored. So it helps me get in my water, but also gives me all of the creatine benefits. You should actually be taking creatine whether you work out or not. So it is something that I take daily. So I do go through the One Up Pure, Pure Rebuild pretty quickly. I just mix that in with my water with my handheld frother add ice and that gets me a full cup of water and then I'll usually do the one up BCAAs throughout the day as well I do have a discount for one up I will link it for you so like I said I want to be prepared today because it's going to be a very long day so I have my creatine mixed up they do have a soda fountain and bottles of water in the office for us to have they don't have any food or anything other than at the restaurants obviously on site so I am going to pack quite a few snacks for Troy and I I'm going to bring a healthy eating all the time and go bar this is really good it has 15 grams of protein. This is the natural peanut butter protein bar in coffee flavor. It's 200 calories, but 15 grams of protein. So I thought this would be a good hearty snack if I was really hungry. I am going to bring a couple little bags of chips for us if we decide we want some chips. I'm bringing the leftovers of my Baja Vida sweet orange beef jerky. I talked about this in Sunday's favorites video. I did find it online and linked it for you, but I'm gonna bring that. And then I'm also going to bring a little meat stick for Troy. And then I have one of my solely organic pineapple coconut fruit sticks. It's literally just dried fruit. So I counted as zero points on WW. It's 80 calories and it's just a good way to get in fruit on the go and then I have these little cheese and crackers from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to bring a pack of fruit snacks I think Troy will eat those as well and then like I said we'll be going out for lunch I'm sure at some point during the day I just would rather be safe than sorry have snacks have drinks have vessels for drinks I am going to stop and get a coffee on our way in Troy will get a pop at the gas station I'll grab a coffee at Starbucks so I'll show you what I'm having 
I'm gonna throw these in a bag, get my life together, and we'll head out the door. All okay. right, you gonna play ball side before we go? Oh, yeah, there's a big old beetle right there. Ew, I should flip him over. I hate when they're flipped over. Hi, Lola. No, leave the beetle alone. Lola, leave the beetle. Yes, I'll leave the beetle. Come on, this is your last opportunity. Palmer, you need to drop. Drop? Here, Palmer. You're such a little butt. Lola, I love you. You be go go for mama? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, daddy, get daddy. Get daddy. Say, don't upset me in the morning, Dad. Yeah, she sounds like she's smoked a hundred years, don't you? Yes, I love you. Come here, give mommy a kiss. Yes, a good girl. Oh, there he goes. Here he comes. Watch out. Here comes Palmer. Yeah. Let's get a treat, too. Everybody gets a treat before we leave. All right, here's a treat for the good girl and a treat for the plenty boda. So we are on our way to the design center. We've got about 15 minutes. I just dropped Troy off at the gas station to get a pop and I went to Starbucks. You guys, I have a new favorite drink at Starbucks. I get a venti quad shot espresso with four pumps of sugar-free vanilla and one inch of vanilla sweet cream cold foam. It ends up being like 25 calories and one point and it's so creamy, so sweet, so delicious. It's literally my new favorite Starbucks coffee, hands down. So recommend, highly, highly recommend next time you visit Starbucks. I got my coffee and Troy got his Diet Coke. So we're narrowing things down here. We are between these two cabinets. We're gonna do this on the island, this on the rest of the kitchen counters. This we're obsessed with. We wanna do the floor in the powder room. And then this is the flooring that we're thinking about. So it's just picking the cabinets. So they were nice enough and gave us $30 for lunch. So I got the special, which is patty melt with chips. And what'd you get? What is that sandwich? Uh, it's like a club. A club sandwich, and then he got onion rings. Yum. So here's my leftovers. I ate half my sandwich and like two of my chips that came with my meal. So here's what we decided for the shower. We're actually doing the zero flat walk-in shower. So this is the tile, the floor, the grout. We're going to do a nice strip of that around the whole shower wall and that's also going to be on the floor in our powder room. This is the flooring we decided on and then these are the two stones in the kitchen and then this throughout the house. Sink, backsplash in the master bath and backsplash in the kitchen. So, so far it's been a very productive day. We're now trying to decide what our exterior colors are going to be. So we are finally home. It has been a very long day. It is 4.30. We left this morning at nine. So it has been a long day, a very productive day, mind, need I say. It was very, very productive today. We got quite a bit done. I showed you kind of what we had picked out. We still have a lot of choices to make and we're spending way more way more than we thought that we were going to spend. Everything that comes standard with the house is just not what we want. I mean, I shouldn't say that. There were a few things that came standard included that we chose, not very many. Most of what we did was an upgrade. It's just ugly, to be honest. A lot of the things, the finishes that come with the house, they're just builder grade. So they're not the best quality. They are not the nicest aesthetic. So we ended up doing a lot of upgrades. I don't know what tomorrow brings. We still have to meet with the superintendent, but I am vlogging this entire process. I'll introduce you guys to Katie. Oh, Palmer, come say hi. You do a good boy. We made you so much. See, I'm going to get me a football dog girlfriend and we batty. Oh, and you can hear Lola. You see, I'm going to get a girlfriend. I'm going to go search for chips. So anyways, we don't know what the next few days bring. I don't know that we'll be there for four full days. I guess we'll just kind of have to see. But this video is not going to have lots of content because we were pretty much there literally all day long. And I was going to make dinner tonight, but I think we're just going to eat our leftovers from lunch. Troy has half a sandwich. I have half of my patty melt. We've got the chips. Troy's got a cookie leftover. So I think we're going to just do that for dinner. So I'll warm it up, show you guys what that looks like, show you what I'm having for dessert. And yeah, I mean, I'm vlogging this whole design process. So you guys will see that video in the future. And I'll give you kind of some clips and things, of course, throughout the day today. But yeah, it was a good day. It was a productive day. I'm tired. I want to wash my face, put my pajamas on. So let me show you what's for dinner, what I'm going to do for dessert. 
So here is my leftovers. I actually kind of tore my sandwich apart. My burger was not cooked very well. It was really pink. And Troy said when he took our order, he didn't even ask me how I wanted my burger done. So I had to kind of tear it apart to throw it in the microwave. I actually think I'm gonna take off half the bread anyways and just eat the burger patty. This is the sauce that came with it. And then this is about, I don't know, half a dozen of the chips. The chips are homemade, they're really good. I just, I don't need them all. So that is going to be dinner. I also forgot to mention, while we were at Design, I ate the little four pack of cheese and crackers from the Dollar Tree. I really like them, they're super good. I got a little hungry between lunch and when we just came home and I ate dinner. I didn't finish all of my chips, but I'm just gonna track all the points. But I did wanna let you know about the cheese and crackers, and then let me grab out what I'm having for dessert. So I'm gonna do a yogurt bowl. I need the protein and it sounds really good. So I have the Chobani Zero Sugar Strawberry Cheesecake Yogurt. I have blueberries. I just bought those strawberries from Sam's Club. They're already bad. They're already bad. I just checked them and they were moldy. So we're gonna do blueberries. Catalina Crunch, this is the maple waffle. I'm going to do a quarter of a cup. I buy this off of Nutrition. It's the best price, they have all of them. I'll link it down below with a 10% discount. And then Chia Smash, I have the blueberries. That'll pair perfectly with the blueberries. And this I buy on Amazon, a six pack of them. I'll link the Chia Smash and the Catalina Crunch. But let me put this together and I'll show you dessert. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. Like I said, sorry it wasn't super exciting. Right now it's just a busy time for us going through design and get everything going with our house. But I hope you enjoyed coming along with us today, seeing what I ate, taking a little sneak peek into the design. We're loving all of our finishes so far. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, check out the description box where you will find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to everything I shared with you today and my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Oh, and turn your bell on so you don't miss the vlog coming out very, very soon of the start of this new build. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.